G'day, this is my digital Alpha Station 255, which runs at 233 megahertz. And on one of the COM ports, we have our beautiful digital VT420 terminal connected. And this system is running OpenVMS 7.3 slash 1. And we also have the graphical environment set up, running deck windows. And what we're going to do is demonstrate some new software that I've just installed. And the software that I've installed is Soft Windows. Let's just run it up. Okay, let's just move this window. And as you can see, it allows our Alpha Station that's running OpenVMS to run MS-DOS programs. And it also allows us to run uh, Windows 3.1. So we're just going to run a quick benchmark on the CPU and get the CPU information. And I've downloaded these tools from uh, Phil's computer lab. So let's just do the check CPU. <laughs> check this. Check CPU. CPU. Okay, <coughs> hmm, yeah, okay, so it is running as an 80 to 86, yeah, the internal clock speed, um, mm, yeah, I tend to have grain of salt, it should be emulating a 80 type machine at 10 megahertz. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to run up Windows, and that's Microsoft Windows. 3.1. I'm just going to resize this window and and there we go. We have Windows 3.1 running. Um, so what I'm going to do is <coughs> I tried this earlier <coughs> and that was installing <coughs> Microsoft Office 4.2. But I'm just going to walk through that process again, just so you can see that you can actually install uh, software. The disk I/O is a little bit slow initially, but it's um, it's usable. Okay, and I also have a serial console, and I also have a Telnet session running from a Windows Over machine. So there is quite a bit going on, and it's running quite hard. Now, what we're going to do. We're going to go into how Office install folder. So Microsoft Office installer. Okay, let's run that up. And there you can see it actually is running the installer for Microsoft Office. This is Microsoft Office 4.2, which was designed for uh, Windows 3.1. We'll just do a quick install, a minimal install. So you can just get an idea of um, how slow or how fast that actually is. And it's comparable with using the actual hardware. So it's actually not bad. And we can still use OpenVMS. And we can share data between the different system so I'm going to put that onto my e drive and I'm going to and that actually is a folder under the home directory on how alpha station VMS install so we'll just call that office okay cross my fingers Okay, I'm going to create that folder. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to do a minimal install. I'm not going to worry about the compatibility for Lotus uh, 123 or for WordPerfect. 
but later I might install WordPerfect natively onto the uh, OpenVMS system and just see how uh, WordPerfect actually runs. So let's have a look over here. Okay, and okay, so let's go to the soft directory. Okay. Okay. As you can see, we can switch between OpenVMS and the uh, soft disk emulation. And we'll do a minimal install. Okay. Yeah, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Okay, and this will take a couple of minutes. Yeah, we'll have Graph 5. Okay, I'm not going to worry about with perfect uh, extensions for Word at the moment in the help files. Okay, into the Microsoft Office group. Okay, and we should have plenty of space. <coughs> yes, I'm actually installing it onto the DKA0 drive. Okay, and it's installing, and let's see. And it has created the office. Okay, and it's creating the folders and installing the appropriate files. That is fantastic. Okay, and it's at 20%, so that's not too shabby. So we'll just try launching uh, Excel. And then I'm going to go and run a simple graphical benchmark from the 3D Bench 2 folder from the benchmark pack that I've downloaded from Phil's Computer Labs uh, website, which is a really excellent website if you're interested in DOS gaming. Um, lots of utilities there and drivers uh, for early Windows, uh, Windows 95, Windows 98. Um, it's a really good resource. So yeah, that's uh, Phil's Computer Labs uh, website. You'll find some driver packs, uh, some benchmarking tools. Okay, and that's actually not too bad. I can remember installing this from uh, Diskette back in the day, and it actually was a lot slower than actually installing it onto the um, Alpha Station. <coughs> I also remember setting this up from a server and doing an admin network install which was, yeah, comparable. So this is not bad for emulation. Remember, we're running it on an alpha as well, so the architecture is quite different to a x86 uh, CPU. And also, the Alpha did a fantastic job of running MT4 and Microsoft was developing uh, Windows 2000 uh, when that project was cancelled and unfortunately we had uh, the end of Alpha 
because titanium took its place, which probably was a mistake. If the Alpha um, continued to be developed, I really think it had a future, but uh, fortunately, Compact and HP had uh, different ideas, and Intel were pushing the titanium processor, which really was a, a dead end as well. Okay, well that's just about copied all the files across. Now back in the day, um, did you use VMS? Um, well, I started my career using an 11th of an 80, and then later moved on to Microvax 2, uh, Microvax uh, 3800, uh, Microvax 4000s, and then later we moved on to uh, some workstations. Unfortunately, we didn't have any alphas at my workplace, which was unfortunate. I really think the um, digital alphas running either OpenVMS or Unix um, probably were a, a good alternative to uh, Sun. Okay. Let's just see if we can run up Excel. Okay, as it's finishing off the installation. There we go, it's created the group. Okay, that wasn't too shabby. Okay, there's Excel, version five, running on how alpha. Okay, let's uh, do some hardcore business type stuff. Um, Okay, A, B, C, D, okay, and we've got uh, 56. Okay, let's graph how data for our presentation. Okay, we'll just run the uh, graph wizard. Okay, we'll put our graph here. Uh, what should we do? A nice pie graph? Or a bar. I think we'll do a pie graph. Okay. Yeah, let the wizard put. Yeah, that's nice. Yep, yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, and this is our chart of things. Okay. And let's finish. Okay. And there we go. Uh, Excel version 5 running under Windows 3.1 on OpenVMS 7.3 on a, a digital alpha station. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's just jump out of Excel. Uh, well, we might save our presentation. And we could have taken that graph. We could have pasted it into Word because... Uh, we have the ability to link objects using the Microsoft uh, OLE, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's go up here. Okay. And look at that, that is marvelous. Games. Yes, Excel works. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yep, okay. Enough of that. We're not going to play solitaire. Let's get out of that. Okay, let's just run a quick graphics 3D benchmark. Okay, so we're going to quit out of here and back, go back to DOS. Okay, exit. Okay. Go back in DOS. Okay, we will run the 3D Bench 2. Okay, yep. Uh, and... Ah, I missed out the 3D Bench 2. Okay, and let's run that free. And we'll just run the batch file Bench Okay, it's actually loading the 
VGA benchmark up and okay it's actually running and we still have the ability to that is so cool let's open up another terminal session if we can Okay, that is um, really putting a bit of load on the system. But it actually does run. <laughs> I'm actually quite impressed. Okay, I still haven't been able to map the escape key properly. Um, we'll look at that later. Okay, let's just jump out of here. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, a VGA benchmark running under DOS in the soft Windows DOS and Windows emulator for uh, VMS on an alpha station. Now that's pretty cool. We might try running some simple uh, DOS games later. And I might see if I can get the audio working. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be successful, but that's what we we're going to try. And um, I hope you found this interesting. Maybe. <laughs> and thanks for watching anyway. Okay, bye.